now we are going to see definite integral as the limit of s sum definition let f of x be a continued real valued function in closed interval a comma b which is divided into n equal parts of with h then integral of a to b f of x dx equal to limit n tend to infinity h tend to 0 summation of r equal to 1 to n h f of a plus r h now we know the result first one sum of the first n natural number 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 this number we can write summation of r equal to 1 to n r next second formula sum of the square of the first n natural number 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus and so on plus n square equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 equal to summation of r equal to 1 to n r square next one third one the sum of cubic of first n natural number 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus and so on plus n cube equal to the formula n into n plus 1 by 2 the whole square this number we can write equal to summation of r equal to 1 to n r cube next one 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus and so on n equal to n equal to summation of r equal to 1 to n into 1 now i am going to the first sum evaluate the integral as the limit of your sum integral 0 to 1 x dx integral 0 to 1 x dx solution we know that the formula integral a to b f of x dx equal to limit n tend to infinity s tend to 0 summation of r equal to 1 to n h f of a plus r h here a a equal to lower limit and b equal to upper limit here f of x is a function now i am going to the first sum evaluate the integral as the limit of your sum integral 0 to 1 x dx first of all here lower limit a a equal to 0 this one 1 is upper limit therefore b equal to 1 this is function therefore f of x equal to x the solution we know that the formula integral a to b f of x dx equal to limit n tends to infinity h tends to 0 summation of r equal to 1 to n h into f of a plus r h here h equal to b minus a by n here a here a is lower limit therefore the lower limit value is 0 0 next one to find the upper limit value therefore upper limit value 1 therefore b equal to b equal to upper limit value 1 next to find the value of h h equal to b minus a here b equal to 1 minus here a equal to 0 by n therefore h equal to 1 by n next to find the value of f of a plus r h to find the value of f of a plus r h next to find the value of f into a plus r h f into a plus r h equal to f of here a equal to 0 plus r into h here h equal to 1 by n equal to f into r by n next to find the value of r by n first of all the function here compare the two formula integral a to b f of x here f of x equal to x therefore f of x equal to x next to find the value of r by n put x equal to r by n f of r by n equal to here x equal to r by n therefore the value of f of r by n equal to r by n 
Now substitute substitute in one. This is equation number one. Now substitute equation number one. Integral of a to b f of x f of x dx equal to limit n tend to infinity h tend to zero summation of r equal to one to n h into f of a plus r h. Therefore here a zero here b equal to one f of x here f of x function is x dx equal to limit n tend to infinity h tend to zero summation of r equal to one to n here h here h equal to one by n f of a plus r h f of a plus r h here f of a plus r h equal is r by n equal to limit n tends to infinity summation of r equal to one to n one into r r by n into n n square. There is no value of there is no whole value of h. Therefore, remove the value of h equal to limit n tends to infinity summation of r take the common out 1 by n square r equal to 1 to n equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n square we know the formula summation of r equal to 1 to n r n into n plus 1 by 2 therefore n n square n n square is cancelled therefore remaining value limit n tends to infinity 1 by n into n plus 1 by 2 therefore limit n tends to infinity 1 into n, n, n plus 1 by 2 into n, 2n equal to limit n tends to infinity split the denominator n by 2n plus 1 by 2n n, n cancel therefore limit remaining value n tends to infinity 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2n put n equal to infinity put n equal to infinity 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into infinity therefore 1 by 2 1 by infinity anything by infinity values 0 therefore the answer is 1 by 2 next i going to second sum Evaluate the integral as the limit of the sum integral 0 to 1 x plus 4 into dx. We know that the formula limit of the sum integral a to b f of x dx equal to limit s tends to infinity s tends to 0 summation of r equal to 1 to n h into f of a plus r h. Here a, a, a is lower limit and b is upper limit f of x is a function comparing to here here a equal to 0 lower limit a equal to 0 here b equal to 1 this is f of x f of x equal to x plus 4 now here first to find h first to find h h equal to formula b minus a by n here a equal to lower limit value lower limit value is 0 0 next one to find the upper limit value b b equal to 1 b equal to 1 next one f of x function f of x equal to function here function is x plus 4 the function is x plus 4 now find the value of h h equal to here b b the value of b is 1 1 minus here a equal to 0 0 divided by n therefore h equal to 
1 minus 0, 1 divided by n. Therefore, h equal to 1 by n. Next, to find the value of another value of f into a plus r h. f into a plus r h. Yeah, f into here a. Here a equal to 0. 0 plus r into h. Here h equal to 1 by n. Therefore, n to 1 by n. Equal to simplify that. f into 1 into r, r by n. Next, to find the value of f into r by n. Next, to find the value of f into r by n. Here, function here. f of x equal to x plus 4. The function f of x equal to x plus 4. To find the value of r, r by n. Put x equal to r by n. f of r by n. Equal to put x equal to r by n. Here put x equal to r by n. r by n plus 4. Therefore, the value of f of r by n is r by n plus 4. Therefore, f of a plus r h equal to f of r by n equal to r by n plus 4. This is equation number 1. Substitute in 1. Equation number 1. Substitute in equation number 1. Therefore, the first equation is integral a. Here a equal to 0. b. b equal to 1. Next one, f of x. f of x here, f of x equal to x plus 4 into dx equal to limit, limit, n tends to infinity, h tends to 0, summation of r equal to 1 to n, h. Here, the value of h is 1 by n, 1 by n into f of a plus r h. f of a plus r value is equal to r by n plus 4. into r by n plus 4. equal to equal to limit n tends to infinity h tends to 0. summation of r equal to 1 to n into 1 into r, r by n square plus 4 ones are 4 by n. Here there is no value of h, therefore remove the value of h equal to 0. Therefore limit n tends to infinity summation of r equal to 1 to n. r by n square plus summation of r equal to 1 to n 4 by n. This term we can write limit yes, limit n to n tend to infinity summation of r equal to 1 to n into r by n square plus summation of r equal to 1 to n into 4 by n. Next one limit n tends to infinity 1 by n square into summation of r equal to 1 to n r plus take the common number 4 by n summation of r equal to 1 to n remaining value is 1. equal to next one limit n tends to infinity 1 by r square we know the formula summation of r equal to 1 to n into r the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 plus 4 by n 
sum of the first n plus 1 plus, we know the formula 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to n. Therefore, this value is n. Equal to limit n tends to infinity n n square cancel therefore remaining value 1 by n into n plus 1 by 2 plus n n cancel 4 remaining value 4 therefore next next limit n tends to infinity the last is 1 by n into n plus 1 by 2 we can write 1 into n plus 1 numerator 1 into n plus 1 n plus 1 by denominator 2 into n 2n 2n plus 4 equal to limit n tends to infinity split the denominator split the denominator n by 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 4 therefore n n cancel the remaining value of limit n tend to infinity 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2n plus 4 therefore next put n equal to infinity put n equal to infinity therefore 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into infinity plus 4 therefore 1 by 2 plus 2 into infinity infinity anything by infinity we know that 1 by infinity equal to 0 therefore this value is 0 plus constant 4 therefore remaining value 1 by 2 plus 4 take the cross multiplication 1 plus 4 2s are 8 by denominator value 2 therefore 1 plus 8 9 by 2 therefore the final answer is 9 by 2 that's all now I am going to third sum the exercise 2.11 that second second Roman integral of 1 2 3 x into dx integral of 1 2 3 x into dx the solution we know that the formula integral a to b f of x dx equal to limit n tends to infinity h tends to 0 summation of r equal to 1 to n h into f of a plus r h where h equal to b minus a by n here b equal to upper limit value here upper limit value is 3 next one is the value of a is lower limit value the value of a is 1 next one first to find first to find h h equal to formula b minus a by n here b b is up sorry here lower limit value is 1 here a equal to 1 Next, the upper limit value b equal to 3. Next, the function is x. The function is f of x equal to function f of x equal to x. Therefore, to find the value of h, h equal to b. Here b equal to 3 minus here a. Here a equal to 1 divided by n. Therefore, h equal to 3 minus 1. 2 divided by n therefore the value of h is 2 by n next to find f of a plus r h next to find f of a plus r h f into here a the value of a is 1 1 plus r into h here h equal to 2 by n into 2 by n equal to f of 1 plus 2 into r 2 r by n next to find the value of 1 plus 2 r by n to find the value of 1 plus 2 r by n therefore the value of function is f of x equal to x given 
the function is f of x equal to x to find foot x equal to 1 plus 2 r by n foot x equal to 2 1 plus 2 r by n equal to therefore the value of x is 1 plus 2 r by n therefore therefore f of a plus r h equal to f of 1 plus 2 r by n equal to f of 1 plus 2 r by n equal to 1 plus 2 r by n this is equation number 1 substitute in 1 substitute in equation number 1 therefore let's continue substitute in equation number 1 therefore the equation number 1 is integral a to b f of dx integral a to b here a equal to 1 b equal to 3 f of x here f of x equal to x into dx equal to the formula limit n tends to infinity s tends to 0 limit n tends to infinity h tends to 0 summation of n, r equal to 1 to n summation of r equal to 1 to n here h the value of h is 2 by n 2 by n into f of a plus r h the value of f of a plus r h is 1 plus 1 plus 2 r by n we we'll simplify that limit n tends to infinity summation of r equal to 1 to n 2 1s are 2 2 by n 2 by n plus 2 2s are 4 4 r by 4 r by n into n n square therefore limit n tends to infinity split the summation summation of r equal to 1 to n 2 by n plus summation of r equal to 1 to n 4 r by n square 4 r by n square next limit n tends to infinity this time we can write 2 by n into summation of r equal to 1 to n into 1 equal to summation of r equal to 1 to n into 4 r by n square we can write 4 by n square into r next we know the formula we know the formula result we know the result 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus and so on plus n equal to summation of r equal to 1 to n into 1 next using the formula sum of the first n natural number 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on plus n equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 equal to summation of r equal to 1 to n into r equal to n let's continue i'm going to hold. limit n tend to infinity 2 by n into summation of r equal to 1 to n into 1 plus this term we can write 4 by n square summation of r equal to 1 to n into r we know the result 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus and so on n term equal to summation of r equal to 1 to n into 1 equal to n next formula sum of the first n natural number 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on n equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 this now this series we can write summation of r equal to 1 to n into r therefore limit n tends to infinity 2 by n into the value of summation of r equal to 1 to n into 1 
the value of summation of r equal to 1 to n 1 r equal to 1 to n into 1 equal to n n plus the value of summation of r equal to 1 to n into r the value of summation of r equal to 1 to n into r the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 therefore 4 by n square into n into n plus 1 by 2 n n cancel n n square cancel the remaining value is limit n tends to infinity into 2 plus 4 by n into n plus 1 divided by 2 equal to limit n tends to infinity into 2 plus 2 4 cancel 2 times 2 by n here 2 1s 2 n's are 2 n plus 2 1s are 2 divided by n split the denominator limit n tends to infinity 2 plus 2 n by n plus 2 by n n n cancel therefore the remaining value is limit n tends to infinity 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 by n put n equal to infinity put n equal to infinity 4 plus 2 by infinity the value of 2 by infinity is 0 the value of anything by infinity anything by infinity value is 0 therefore 4 plus this value is 0 equal to 4 plus 0 4 ok sir explain rough and test raise money to me sir sorry sir Therefore, let's continue. Limit n tends to infinity 4 plus 2 by n. Put n equal to infinity. Therefore, 4 plus 2 by here n equal to infinity. Therefore, 2 by infinity. Therefore, the value of 2 by infinity is 0. The value of anything by infinity equal to 0. Therefore, 4 plus this term value is 0. Therefore, 4 plus 0 equal to 4. That's all. Thank you, student.